Good afternoon, good afternoon. <clears throat> How's everybody doing this afternoon? It's raining over here in Charleston. It is raining over here in Charleston. Um, I just saw Kwame's video where he's uh, in the truck with the boxes behind him. And uh, you remember how Martin used to say, Marty Moore is for the kids. I think it's official, man. Kwame is for the kids. He's for the kids. Uh, with that being said, I mean, he's a retired NBA player. You know how many retired NBA players of, I guess you can say, higher stature than Kwame Brown are alive and well and able to do things like this? It's probably in the thousands. My question is, well, I won't say that. I won't. I won't. I won't come off negative. I'll just say this: What if other retired NBA players and, and NFL players and Major League Baseball players and all of these guys who did well while they played the sport and who who, who established themselves financially well before they stopped playing? In other words, they still got money. They still got money coming in. What if those guys, what if those guys started doing the same thing Kwame is doing right now, as far as helping the kids out? What if they did the same thing? Because most of these guys, I want to say the majority of these guys come from similar backgrounds. Most of these guys come from the ghetto. Most of them come from impoverished areas, inner cities, or, you know, country boys who grew up poor and girls uh, well, I can't really say girls I don't think WNBA makes a whole lot of money I just found out not too long ago they don't make a whole lot of money but for the guys who had the million dollar contracts played 10 to 5 to 10 years in the league and like I said they did well what if those guys started really putting forth the effort to do what Kwame is doing right now and make a big deal about it because <clears throat> a lot of times they say that you know you should be humble and you shouldn't let people know what you're doing in the community but I agree to that to a certain extent because if you don't know if you can't see your fellow NBA player as in Kwame, doing what he's doing. I mean, he's doing. He's this, this is not a camp. This is not like a camp that they do, which are good. I've I've uh, I sent my kids to uh, Anthony Johnson's camp uh, here in Charleston when they were little boys, and it was a good experience. Um, I, I've seen other um, uh, Ty Hill. He's from uh, the same. He went to the same school. I went to Ty Hill. He was uh, no, I think it was number one draft pick back in uh, 2006, seven, something like that. Uh, for the Los Angeles Rams or St. Louis Rams at the time and uh, I, my son went to his camp my youngest son went to his camp uh, what if these guys making all this money or who made all that money and who are still making money because ultimately this is not coming out of Kwame's pocket it's coming out of you know, the majority of it is coming out of donors like myself and other people who donated shoes, donated money, super chats, all the money, all the revenue generated from from the build up uh, hype for this thing, for this event. All that money, you know, it came it came about from uh, something negative and he turned it into something positive, which is awesome. But can you imagine more players doing the same thing and consistently every single year or every you know have somebody doing one a month or two a month you know in different areas you know this time is Kwame Kwame is in uh, Brunswick Georgia but you may have somebody do one in in Florida uh, another part of Georgia South Carolina North Carolina because you got athletes black athletes from all over and it just it doesn't have to just be black athletes you know, it could be whoever. But 
you're addressing a problem that needs addressing that needed addressing a long time ago and our government you know don't seem to have any um problems with people being poor you know i won't say that of course they got these programs you know for poor people but sometimes you gotta you gotta step outside of the box and do things on your own do what you can do on your own and and what Kwame is doing I think it's it's awesome it's absolutely awesome um but I, I really truly do hope that it catches on I hope that uh other other athletes well and you do have some you uh you do have some athletes who are doing things like this so um, I just hope it catches on on a, on a bigger level you know I really do because I grew up poor, and I and I would appreciate if some athlete from South Carolina threw something like this, and my parents took me before school started to get some some shoes. Because <laughs> a lot of times you, we we had to go back to school with the same shoes we had on the year before, or worse, you know. I remember times when we didn't have shoes at all; we had to wear church shoes to school, you know. So I just hope it catches on. Salute to the brother once again. Um, oh, and I made a video earlier uh, about Vlad, and I couldn't remember uh, the, the the guy name from Brand Nubian. His name is Lord Jamar. That's his name. I'm, my bad. I didn't. I totally uh, you know, drew a blank when I was trying to think of his name earlier. But yeah, that's that's basically what I got to say right now. I'm. It's raining, so I don't want to. I need to pay attention to this road. Um, if you guys are liking my content, go ahead and like. Hit the like button, subscribe button. Uh, if you guys are readers, any of you guys are readers, go and check out my website. I'll leave it in the, in the description. Y'all go ahead and uh, have a nice day. I'll talk to y'all later.